Hello, welcome to HTML5 tutorials, chapter 4, HTML5 form input type, part 2, brought to you by Anglo Technologies, my name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the form input type of HTML5. So in the last session, we learned about the 8 types of input control, they are color, date, date time, date time local, time, number, week and month. Right now, we are going to learn about input type search telephone, URL, email and range. So without wasting much time let me jump into Visual Studio Code and let me show you a demo of this. So here is my Visual Studio Code. So what I'll do is let me add a text like search by edge and now let me add a input control and the type is search. Now let me push this page to the browser by double clicking on this page. So my default browser is Chrome it's taking that and here you can observe we will get a text box okay it is very similar to the input type text okay the input type search is very similar to input type text so the, the difference is suppose if I type something like Hank Pro now I want to search this okay right now uh, we are this text is not going to be searched because we have not written any backend code but I'm, my objective is just to tell you like what input type search is okay the input type searches it gives you a input box where you can enter the text and apart from that it gives you something uh, stylistically this control okay now when I click on this you can observe the text whatever I typed inside the text box is disappearing this is what the difference between input type text and input type search okay this is a input type search where you enter the text now imagine if you have a button when I click on the button you have written a functionality code telling like that whatever the text I pass here has to be searched by edge okay right now we are not writing any backend code to search the content whatever I pass in this text box Our objective is just to understand the input type control with the search what it's going to give it's going to give this stylistically into mark when I click on that everything inside the text box will be erased this is what about the input type searches the search input tag allows you to place a search box in your HTML forms as it is okay search box differs stylistically with the standard input text box okay it is similar to input type text but the thing is inside the text box we will get this cross cross mark when I click on this entire the text return typed inside the text box will disappear this is what about input type searches and coming to telephone and URL okay keep keep in mind the telephone the uh, input tag provides the facility to get the telephone number from the user with proper validation and you can observe the country code uh, differs from one country to other country so the telephone numbers might also differ so we have to do a proper validation okay once user enter the input we have to check whether this number is coming from this country code or some somewhat like that okay at the time we have to write our JavaScript code to do the validation but keep in mind from HTML5 we have input type tel TEL it represents telephone there is no need of doing the validation okay a mobile number should contain 10 numbers similarly that validation will be done by the browser itself with the help of this tag input type telephone similarly for URL okay the validation will be done by the browser only so let me show you a demo of these two so input type enter phone number so your input type is telephone and apart from that let me add a break line so here I'm going to enter enter telephone and enter the enter URL and here the type is URL okay now let me to control this let me go back and let me refresh here you can enter your mobile number and keep in mind suppose if you enter mobile number okay perfectly now it's not perfect like it should contain 10 numbers it's not having so imagine we are doing perfect form validation now we have a submit button when I click on the submit okay it will throw an error telling like this form number whatever whatever we have entered is not validated it's not perfect because it contains only 10 num 9 numbers but a mobile number should have 10 numbers that type of validations okay can be done without the help of JavaScript okay with the help of HTML5 type that is input type telephone and similarly for the URL whatever the URL you enter should be perfect and if it is not perfect okay HTML5 type attribute that is value uh, email is going to validate it once you click when you, once you click the submit button okay this is what the phone number and the URL are input type tell and input type URL 
and apart from that we have something called input type range so the range input provides the facility to get the required numerical value from the user where the exact number is not important so what I'll do is let me go back here and let me erase these things let me tell like enter the range so let me take the input type as range so when I do control s let me go back and let me refresh here you can observe we are getting this control which is of range it is at the middle right now so what I'll do is now I need to get the value of this range so what I'll do I'll write a bit of JavaScript code to do that ID is my range so what I'll do is let me add a script attack we I need to get the value of that range right now so what I'll do is I'll attach a function I'll call a function uh, get data so here when I should get on click on click get the data so what I need to do is first I need to okay when I should get when I okay can't attach to this so what I'll do is I'll identify a button I'll add a button first button so let me add a ID so ID is my button so on click I need to call this get data function so here I'm going to tell like document dot get element by ID of the control so my control name is my range and get the value of it okay let me store this in one variable right now it is RESULT result so what, I, what I'm doing I'm identifying the element by this ID this ID so it's going to get the value of it once it gets the value it has to push inside um, it has to alert that so alert the result control s so let me go back and let me refresh the page uh, oh to the button I have to assign the value right so not assign the value so the value will be get range so when I click on that you can observe the range is 50 right now it is at the center so keep in mind the minimum value it can the range can take is 0 and the maximum value is 100 so let me scroll here and now let me get the range the range is 21 okay and let me scroll here and let me get the range the range is 81 and let me scroll to the complete end and now let me get the value the value is 100 so the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 100 so apart from that there's something here we can set the minimum and maximum attributes so what I'll do is uh, here is my yes I'll set the minimum attribute to 0 and by default the maximum attribute is 100 so let me change it to 10 so let me do control s let me go back and let me refresh now it should be at the middle so the value is 5 now the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 10 okay and this is what about the range control is and input type email it's very simple and again we don't need to validate it okay the control type email will validate itself so let me remove this it is input type email control s enter the email control s let me go back let me refresh here you can observe we have to enter email arish at hangpro.com okay we have to enter our email in this format suppose if I miss something here okay if I miss something here at or something like that okay when when I click the submit button okay it's going to validate this 
email id whatever entered email id should must and should contain okay at in its complete form okay if it is not there it's going to validate that uh, text whatever or the id whatever you present inside this email so it's going to do that validation the browser itself why because from html5 the input type email is having the capacity of validating the content passed inside it Okay, instead of writing the JavaScript function, we can validate it very easily with the help of HTML5 input type email. Okay, this is what the advantage of using this input type email. And so what we learned here is the type email, range, tell and URL, telephone and URL, and the search also. So finally, we end up learning about the form input types. They are color, date, date time, date time, local time, number, week, month, search, telephone, URL, email, and range. So I hope you understand this very clearly. So finally, thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Angpro Training. You can also like our Facebook page, visiting this URL. You can also follow us on Twitter. For further reference, ref our website. We're on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.